What up, YouTube? It's your boy. Now I'm back at it again with another video, bro. Today marks week four, bro. 28 days on team retention slash no fap slash no nut November, bro. And I just wanted to start off the video, bro, that if you're actually on this journey with me and you're at day 28, bro, and you're two more days away from your actual goal of touching 30 days of like really detoxing from porn and you know holding your seed bro give yourself a pat on the back bro because that shit is hard this is one of the hardest things that you can do as a man i want to jump straight into this video with you guys bro basically after these two whole weeks i like to say that bro you feel like the man bro like i feel like him like i, I labeled my last video you feel like him i really want to go into that and explain how you actually feel and what i mean when i say you're him this all starts and comes from your confidence right your confidence levels on while retaining and holding your seed is top tier I, I promise you this right now like it's not it's, it's not bullshit it's like really you start to elevate and you become more manly you become more stronger so like your confidence levels is up and you just don't give a fuck right and when you don't give a fuck and you don't care about a lot of certain things that's going into your mind like normally right back in the day but i remember I used to be like i used to be overthinking things you know just like situation oh maybe i should have done this down the third when you're really on nofap slash semen retention and you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing in your daily life that you you know you got going on whether that's you know sports gym work goals you know maybe even youtube for you guys you don't give a fuck about anything else. And I really want to explain to y'all, like, when you don't give a fuck, like, just think about times when you don't give a fuck about nothing. You're just doing your thing. Or, you know, you generally don't care, so you just keep it moving, bro. That shit makes you feel so much better, bro. I always hear, like, these past weeks, I've been hearing a lot of arguments, a lot of toxic shit. And I'm just like, I, I tune in for, like, five seconds. My brain's just like, ah, oh, it's bullshit. All right, fuck it. Keep it moving. Like, I don't give a fuck about that shit. I got things to do, you know? When you really have your goals and everything that you got going on within your life aligned, scheduled, and everything like that, you want to complete that shit almost every day, bro. Your motivation is up. You know, your discipline, all of that shit is there, bro. You don't give a fuck about nothing. You want to keep it moving. And this is why I say this is, like, the biggest thing with semen retention is that you want to keep feeling this way, right? I'm not saying that if you bust right now, you're not going to feel that same way till, the, you know, the next hour or tomorrow or whatever the fuck. You start to get an iron mind on semen retention. And, you know, me personally, if I bust today, right now, if I bust right now, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going back to porn. I don't really give a fuck about that shit. If I bust right now, I bust right now. Oh, well, I'm still going to do what I got to do, right? That is, like, the biggest takeaway from the semen retention shit is that you start to build an iron mind. And you start to have higher standards for yourself, right? So instead of watching porn, you want to actually go talk to women in real life. And this is where it goes hand to hand, where like a lot of the woman attention comes in. This is that when you don't give a fuck, bro, like I don't know how to explain it. Like my best scenarios that I have in my daily life is when I'm at the gym, because the gym is when I am totally focused, right? And I am in the zone. I feel good. I had some, like I'll have some coffee to get like, you know, my caffeine up there. So I have more energy and feel a better contraction, better pumps while I work out. You know, I got my headphones on. I'm just in there, bro. Sometimes I, I promise you guys, like it's, it's actually crazy that I'm so in the zone. I don't give a fuck if there's like 20, 30 people around me. I'm literally singing the lyrics out, out loud. I don't give a fuck what type of song it is. It could be a Spanish song. It could be a drill song, whatever song I'm listening to you will hear me sing it or you will hear me dance like i don't give a fuck like i am so locked in bro when you're really locked in you don't care about any of that shit you don't give a fuck of these people around you hearing you sing whatever or you know like dance or whatever like i i'm not saying i'm full on break dancing but i'm getting lit like i'm getting sturdy like bro that's just who i am and when i'm locked in i like to have fun so i'll walk around the gym and i'm singing songs like i don't know a lot of it is like spanish music where i'm just singing and, you know, I, I don't really care. Like, I, it's, you don't give a fuck. You're so locked in. And when I'm walking, I walk with my chest, my my shoulders back and my chest held high like a man's supposed to. Bro, I kid y'all not, I see so many people looking at me. And I don't like to say that because, you know, me personally, I'm a handsome dude. I'm always going to be like a handsome guy. I'm always going to be confident. But I just feel like when you're retaining, bro, your level of confidence just rises because you don't care. You're, you're focused at the task at hand. And the task at hand when I'm at the gym is pushing some fucking weight. Like, so I'm fully focused on that. I don't care if there's any girls around me. I don't care if, oh, there's the baddest girl in the room. I don't give a fuck about that. And you want to know something? When you don't give a fuck about any of that shit, like a lot of women around you or whatever, bro, they start to come to you. Like, real shit. Like, bro, it's so many times I'm telling you, like, 
you know, I'm handsome too. Like, I ain't gonna lie. You know that. Like, I'm a handsome dude. But, like, bro, when I'm in the gym and I'm locked in, I see it. I see them through the mirror. You know, they giving me, uh, they staring. Like, bro, literally staring at my shit. Until I go and look, they, they turn around. They, 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 you know, they just... You know, they turn their face. You could tell, you know, when you make a girl a little nervous, you know, shit like that. You know, you hold eye contact for a second. They just, you know, they, they turn around or they look another way. That shit is, bro. Like, it's been happening so much, bro. Understand why it works. Like, it, it, it really works because you don't give a fuck. You're doing your thing. And they are going to respect you for that. Like, they are, they are going to look at you like, damn, like, you know, and they're going to feel your presence and your energy. When you're holding you onto your seat, you have an aura around you, bro. Like, real shit. Like, it's energy. It's so funny because I will walk into a room and everyone will look at me. Like, the moment I walk in that bitch. And a lot of people are going to say, like, oh, you're crazy. You're this, that, and the third. I'm not lying when I say this. When you walk like a man with your shoulders back and your chest held up and you walk with confidence, you don't give a fuck. Bro, you walk down the th you walk like down the aisle, wherever the fuck you're at, at work, whatever. There's a lot of people around. They're looking. I swear. They're, there's no way they're, they. It's like they feel your presence the moment you step in that bitch. I promise you. Like I'm not lying when I say this, especially when I'm at the gym. I'm so focused at hand. I see people from the side of my view looking at me, and I just I just keep it moving. I don't care if it, I don't really give a fuck. I'm focused at the task at hand. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That was one of the biggest things I wanted to get through through this video of, like, this whole week four slash week three, just, like, how, how I've been feeling. It's just, it's just been happening. Like, almost everywhere I go, you're gonna feel my presence. It's just what it is. I walk into Chipotle, you're gonna feel me. Just today, bro, like, real shit, like, this happens at my job, all types of shit. But this was, like, a little weird to me, because, like, Bro, I'm, like, generally looking for something in my bag, right? So, I, I pull up to Chipotle. I'm in the parking spot. I'm looking for something in my bag. I'm, like, searching and shit, you know? I needed a... I don't even remember what the fuck... Oh, I needed chapstick. I didn't know where it was in my bag. So, I'm looking for the shit. I ended up not finding it. But the moment I look up, I swear, two girls, they already parked. I didn't even realize I had my music going. I didn't really care. But they parked right there. When they parked, then they, they hopped out the car. They both staring. And, and the moment I look up, they both, like you know, look away, and, you know, they're just, like, geeking, it's called geeking, like, when they're tweaking on you, like, oh, he's, like, oh, like, you know what I'm saying, like, they think of you highly, they look like, oh, he's attractive, that is how, what they do, they start geeking, so the moment I walk into Chipotle, you know, I'm standing behind them in line, they just still tweaking, like, you know, say, like, shit like that, it's little subtle things that you will pick up off when you're on this journey, bro, and honestly, this has been happening off the journey, regardless, like I said, I'm, a, I'm always confident, I'm handsome, I don't give a fuck, but, like, Bro, you start to really notice it because I believe you have that aura around you and people have to feel your presence. They will feel your presence. You're just like a ball of energy. Just like people are just ready. Like people are just kind of just staring at you and shit like that. And it's not only guys. It's not only girls. It's girl, It's guys too, which is like, like kind of weird. But like don't look at me and shit. But it's like people in general have no choice but to feel your presence. And when they feel your presence, they're going to look at you because... They got to know, like, what the fuck that is. You understand what I'm saying? Like I said, when I walk in the cut in whatever spot I'm at, people are looking at me. I also want to say that, like, I am spot on mentally and I'm, like, my mind is sharp. Like, I am, there's no brain fog. There's no excuses. There's no, you know, I'm very determined to do what I got to do. And I know I say this almost every video, but that's just how it feels. Like, when you are so focused on what you got going on, you don't give a fuck about nothing else going on. You are good, bro. Like, you're, like, that is the winning recipe for success. Semen retention will help you win. Like, I promise you. It's, I never felt this aligned to my goals. I'm only when I'm on semen retention. I'm, you know, thinking about women lusting and shit like that. It's like, you know, my, my mind is off the task. It's like, it gets, like, the job will get done, but it's not feeling as good. Like, because when I am fully focused, like, in this video, I am so focused right now. I'm going to edit this video right after. I don't give a fuck what happens. I'm going to eat and go to sleep. And it's a routine, it's like a routine, like it's like something I have to do every single day. So it's like, I don't give a fuck like about anything else, I don't have time. When you are aligning your life to your goals, bro, you don't have time for a lot of shit. Like a lot of time for your friends, you know, family, things like that. You might not really have as much time as you used to because you want to use your time wisely and, you know, use all the energy and, you know, the motivation that you have to get the things done, bro. Team of retention, I could actively say is life-changing shit like it's a life-changing journey bro like after week one after the first week you will understand what i'm talking about especially after the week two where you will understand that like if you prioritize good sleep good diet and retaining bro 
you are going to see the benefits from the shit. You're going to have so much energy. Oh, and fasting. I always say fasting too. Fasting, you will feel the energy. You will feel your energy going up, bro. You will feel like your balls are like, feel your balls are filled. You will feel good. You will feel like you need to get things done, bro. Without making excuses, without having these like, you know, I, I just feel as if every now and then you get like these level of doubt of like, yo, you, you can't do this or you're not supposed to be doing this, that, whatever. Or like it brings you down and I get that too. But when you are on retention and you are like withholding your seed, bro, you are too strong. You don't give a fuck. You think so rationally. Like, for instance, if I didn't want to do YouTube or like make a video today, it happens. Like that comes that that thought comes around my mind, right? If I didn't want to do it, you know, I start to think rationally, right? So it goes, okay, then what the fuck are you gonna do? What are you gonna do today? What like you you start to think like, bro, you have to do this if you want to be successful. You want to keep, you have to keep going and be consistent in order to see growth on your channel, right? So you start to see rationally, what, you're going to take this day off what because of what? Because you just feel like, oh, you don't want to do it. Then you start to build your iron mind. That's when I start to think, man, fuck out of here, bro. I never skipped the gym. I can't skip YouTube. What the fuck? Why would I ever do that? You start to think so rationally and so strong minded. You Build that on your mind on this on this journey. I'm not lying when I say that, you know. And this is day 28, and you guys are gonna see gonna see up until day 30, and after that, I'm gonna be doing weekly like weekly updates for you guys, like how I used to do. And you're gonna get a lot more self improvement content that I generally want to get out. But this journey is not gonna stop. So if your goal was to touch only 30 days and oh I get to bust, that's like the worst thing you can do. Like it's the most dumbest thing you can do. Like stay on the journey. Get more benefits, do what you're supposed to be doing, align your life to your goals, and better your life overall. That is what all of this stuff is about. This is what my whole channel is about. This is what this seam retention is about, this nofab stuff, you know, fighting lust, all sorts of things. This is what it's all about and make it count. If you're just retaining and you're not doing nothing with your energy in your life and what you're supposed to be doing every day, you're wasting the shit. You know, you take the time to find out what you want to do and do that shit. Jump, start immediately, get to doing it. You understand? And that's like I said, this is what this self improvement stuff is all about. This no fab stuff. This is good to better your life. You don't want to be that same little virgin fucking bust into porn three times a day. You don't want to do that. You much rather go out with a woman and have sex with a girl in real life. That's just what it comes down to. And that's leveling up from this shit. That is taking control of your life and leveling up, guys. But that's all I have for week four today, bro. This has been such a great journey it's almost two days two more days left bro this is crazy you know like i want y'all to be on this journey with me and like i said if you guys are on this journey with me give yourself a pat on the back bro because this shit isn't easy and even for me who was on two months like just like two months ago this is still not easy like it's just not fighting temptations i still get the thoughts of like oh we're going to watch this no we're not doing that you become strong-minded but it's still temptations there it's always going to be there and you have to fight that head on. So if you guys missed my last video, I'll leave that right here, bro, for you guys. And overall, bro, just stay yourself. Stay 300. Whatever you do in life. Trust me, I believe in you, bro.